name is Joy Roden and welcome back to my series on cosplay. Uh, in previous videos I had covered such things as the basics of cosplay, what is cosplay, who can cosplay. I also covered more details on different kinds of foam, different paints, how to use glue guns, how to use hot, hot glue guns. I also showed you how to make a simple bracer out of foam. And another thing I showed you all was a video on how to work with Vorgla. And in this video, I will be showing you how to make faux leather. This is going to be a very inexpensive way to make faux leather. Most of the time, if you will look online or in a craft store, then you'll notice that leather, even faux leather, even cheaper kinds of leather are not really all that cheap. You'll find that even faux leather, if you use a lot of it, it will add up over time. And if you try to get the real leather, then you're really shelling out a lot of money for it. And for some people that works, but for others who are on a budget and still want to make their cosplay look really good, can actually make uh, foam out of much cheaper resources. And you can do it much easier than a lot of other things in cosplay. So what I'm going to show you today is how to do it with foam sheets. And this is going to be a pretty easy process. It's only going to be a few steps. And you can do it with any color of craft foam sheets, as I will show you later. And it's going to be very useful for things like, say, little buckles or um, just little knickknacks here and there. Just little details that will make your costume look awesome. And so let's just get right into it. So the things you are going to need for this are some brown craft foam sheets. I got a full pack of these on Amazon for about 10 bucks. And you can get them in any craft store. You can get just the individual sheets. Another thing you'll need is uh, aluminum foil. You'll need a palette for paints. I just like to use small paper plates. And these are biodegradable, they're recyclable. You'll need uh, paper towels. You'll need some black paint, some black acrylic, uh, lighter acrylic brown, and a much darker acrylic brown. This one is raw umber. And if you want, you can look at different maroons maybe, just to get a little bit of color variation. So you'll need all of these and you'll need a little bit of water because we will be watering down the first coat of paint. And you'll need a variety of brushes. Usually I will just use one, but for the sake of being able to wash out my brushes, having a few on hand is really nice. Alright, and another thing you'll need to have is a iron. Just a regular, everyday iron. And what you'll want to do is... If you want to do a full sheet of this and make it leatherized, you can do that. So first step is to take your aluminum foil, it doesn't really matter how big you have it, and just crumple it up first, that way you get all these crumpled up areas right here. So once it's crumpled up, you uncrumple it and then flatten it out the best you can. I have a piece already right here that I'll be working with. So you just flatten this out the best you can. I like having a piece of cardboard under here as a surface to work on. Just so that I don't ruin any tables or anywhere I'm actually working. So what you'll do is you'll give your iron a chance to heat up. I usually will put it on medium heat or normal. I put it just a little bit above normal. I have it on normal cotton. It's just uh, on the highest setting of normal cotton right now. So what you'll do is you'll put this just as your first layer. And then you'll put your uh, aluminum foil over top of it. Then you'll take your iron and then just set your iron on top of it. Give it, move it just a little bit. Careful of your fingers. Move it just a little bit, give it some time to heat up the uh, foam below. 
This will actually transfer all the wrinkles from the uh, aluminum foil into the foam sheet below. So let's see how it's looking right now. I've only got part, part of a texture right here, so let's do a little bit more to cover the rest over here. Just be careful of your fingers because you don't want to burn yourself. Just pay attention to what you're doing. You can keep moving it around. Okay, we got some more texturing here. You can do some more until you're happy with the uh, transfer. I honestly don't know why my iron does this. <laughs> it's a wireless iron. And I do not use it very often. I mostly use it for cosplay. <laughs> All right, so we have a really nice texture going here. It's a very, you can see the sheen there of this leather-like texture that is transferring to the craft foam sheets. Now that we have that texture, you can set aside your uh, aluminum foil. I'm gonna put some paper below this so that I you know, have something I can ruin with paint and whatnot. What you want to do here is pour out a little bit of the black. This is going to be your, this is going to be your base. You're going to be doing some coloring, you're going to be doing some shading to make it look leather-like. So just put some black there. This what I'm going to do right now is uh, water it down, just with some water. I'm just going to dip my brush in some water since there isn't very much black paint here. And just, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just watering down this paint. And what you're going to do is just brush over that watered down black paint. And then quickly before it dries, I want you to, whoops, quickly you're going to want to wipe that off. So once you got that down on there, it's a watered down black, you just wipe it off. And that will darken your leather. That'll give it a darker tone and it'll give it some unevenness. It'll give it a more natural looking worn look. So once you got that, once that's, that will dry very swiftly. It can be a little bit messy, but that's gonna dry pretty quickly. Now what we're gonna do is get, um, do you see all of these like creases and whatnot? Get some of your black paint here so you can see it. Get some of your thicker black paint and then just dab and wipe. Just dab a little bit and then wipe it off immediately after. Wipe pretty hard and do it unevenly. Do it in uneven areas, like over here. Just randomly put it anywhere, just a little bit, and then wipe it away really hard. So in that case, you have some uneven textures that you're getting in there. So with that, what you're gonna do next is get some of the, the lightest brown that I have right now is this color right here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this out. Oh dear. It's been a long time since I've used this, so make sure you shake your paints before you pour them out. Because they will separate if you've had them for months. See if this is better. There you go. You just need a little bit of this. So 
just need just a little bit of this. And then paint that in. And just be, like before, wipe it out. What we're trying to do here is get a variety of textures and shades here. I think what I'm going to do is dab this a little bit lighter than I did the black because you want some of it to show. You want it to get that sort of variegated color. That way you have some lighter areas and then some darker areas. Just like with real leather. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just putting it in random areas just to get some lighter areas and darker areas. So we'll get some more of this lighter color. And then just lightly brush over this. Because this is a this is coming off much easier than the black did. So you're just gonna have to test and see what works for you and what doesn't. want to get really detailed and you know what you're doing so you can see already you can see already this is starting to look worn and leathery and if you have some darker spots that you want to lighten a little bit just put some of that over it to fix it up and there you go so you've got that and what you'll want to do for the darker areas, this is just go back with some black and go into the creases here and then use that paper towel again to wipe it away. Preferably a clean paper towel because as you can see if it's a used paper towel already, then you'll get, it'll just keep smearing the black. So you can see right there, if you don't have a clean paper towel, it will, all it will do is just smear the black more. But these sorts of things are always fixable. You can always go over it with a lighter color. You can always just brush over it with, say, your lighter brown. And that will lighten that right up. But you, what you want the most is to have the darker color be able to seep into the cracks there to give it a real aged look because over time you'll see in real leather you will see over time some grime in the uh, wrinkles and there you can see some sort of detailed look over here is where I smeared the black it's good to have just a lot of paper towels on hand to prevent this from happening But in person, it looks even better than it does on camera. So this you can easily fix up by just using some lighter colors just to lighten the brown. You can also do this same technique with even different colors of craft foam sheets. You could do this with say purple even. As long as you have a good brown that will cover it. Then you'll just, what you'll do instead of just putting the black on first, what you'll do is you will paint it first with your brown. And then you'll just make sure that the whole entire top layer is brown. And then you'll have to let that dry completely. And then after it's dried completely, then you will do the step where you uh, coat it with a washed out black color. And then you'll wipe it off. And then you'll do it just as I had shown you there. I like using the brown uh, craft foam sheets for this instead because A, it will save you a step, and B, when you look on the other side, all you see is brown. If this were, say, purple, then you would either have to color both sides of this or you would have to just make sure that this side would not be seen because it would be yellow or purple or pink, any of those colors. What I would do with this is coat it with um, a matte varnish. 
because once this is done you want to make sure that none of this color is washed off or worn off or anything like that you want it to be durable so you want this color to last so what you will do is you will color just like you do with just like you do with armor and whatnot you will just coat that with a layer of the matte varnish what you'll basically do is just trace out what you want you can pick the best part of the leather that you've made you can whatever you think is the best part and then just just trace out what you want like say you're making a strap so you trace out what you want let's say this will be just a little strap for a buckle or something trace it cut it out preferably you would have to trace backwards that way you don't that way basically you flip it over and then trace what you want uh, mirrored that way when you cut it out you don't see all of these little lines on the edge like you might be getting these lines on the edge when you cut it so if you're using a sharpie or something like that you want to just keep that in mind as to whether you want that sharpie to show on this side or not or you could just paint over it if you made that mistake that I did but yeah now you have a leather strap and it looks like worn leather and you can go over this with as many layers as you want you could go over this with more lighter layers and make them show a little better in some areas than others you could go over some areas with darker and then you could keep like showing some wearing you could keep um, you could add some dust effects to it by putting by just flicking some lighter color to it and then dabbing it and wiping it off so yeah that makes a very nice looking leather piece and these are things I used I actually used this once before uh, for a belt I made for a cosplay. I needed some faux leather for a belt that I was making for a worthy Loki, which is a, a Loki that was worthy of the Hammer of Thor. And so part of the belt was made out of this material. And it looked super good in person. Like, people literally wondered, hey, is that actual leather or is that faux leather? And then when I told them that it was craft foam sheets, they were like, wait, how do you do that? <laughs> so, this is going to be the video where that could, you could use for, say, um, if you're doing cowboy cosplay. A lot of the cowboy cosplays will have a lot of leather on them, and this is a good way to cut corners. It's a good way to make sure that you're not paying too much for your cosplay, or even if you're on a budget and you can't, this makes it so that it's much more accessible to you. And hopefully, hopefully you have found this video very helpful to you. And uh, that would be it for this video. And you have a great day, and I hope you have a good week. Thank you.